Hello everyone, welcome back to a, another Battlefront 2 stream. It's been a few weeks, and I thought I'd come in and catch up. We've got a bunch to talk about. And we also have our very first stream sponsor, so it's been a bit of a slow month, hasn't it? Aside from the Outlaws stuff, so they're coming in to help out the Oh, I totally should have done way better there. I only got, you know, he was on very little health, like 5% health. Let's spawn in. Wait, where's he at? Oh, we got a ATRT. Watch out. I don't think I've played much Battlefront 2 since the last stream. I actually played a little bit. I think like a couple of games to get some gameplay. I can't remember what video it was, but I had a blast. Like taking that like two year break from this game definitely uh definitely helped a lot. Wow, okay. Definitely helped a lot. Uh oh. Don't like the iron disruptor. Get picked up. Okay. Hello, NPR, uh, M Prime, and Overline. What's going on? Need to take out that LAAT. Yeah, it's down. Okay. Got a full lobby, but it doesn't really feel like it, to be honest. A bit strange. So, I thought uh, one thing to talk about is the classic collection. Um, no patch two. Where, where is it? I mean, they're working on it. We can see in the back end. I mean, they already confirmed it, obviously, but that was like what two, three weeks ago now. We're now in the middle of April. The game came out in the middle of March, so it's been a, a month since release. Oh, I messed that grenade up. It's been a month since release. The update came out that weekend. Oh, shoot. Obviously... Ah, should have done better. Obviously, uh, it didn't come out on console because Sony and Microsoft took too long, I guess, to release the patch, but... It's a bit surprising. I mean, if I had to guess, the reason why patch one came out so quickly was all of those fixes the developers knew about and they were basically forced to get the game out you know the fact that they got that pc version out over the course of a weekend is crazy and now we are like three weeks at, at later without patch two so new mic dude um no it's the same one um there's no music or sound effects the game sound... I haven't changed the game. Maybe the game sounds a little bit lower. Oh, oh shoot. I'm not expecting that. him to do a charge slam. Um, it's a bit closer to my mouth. Maybe that's possibly why. Hello, pro wrestling guy. Star Trek, yes. Um, <laughs> that's uh, going to be uh, the second half of the stream. It, it's been a slow month. So um, I have a sponsor for the stream, which we'll get into later on in the stream we'll play some battlefront 2 to start off with to be honest i uh i haven't worked oh, well outlaw stuff was pretty nice and busy and fun to cover but with me being on jory duty i've been a bit all over the place and like I, i've missed a bunch of stuff and st yeah so i spent today like doing some work but honestly it's a bit of a slow period following the rush that was the classic collection so thank you very much nick i appreciate it the yeah it's it, it's a strange period at the moment because like there is stuff but there isn't um which is fine i kind of needed these couple of weeks to take some time off i uh, damn it i can't believe i messed that up it's so weak But what's pretty exciting is I am going to be streaming next week 
I should be streaming. It might not be a stream at this moment in time. It could be a video, it might be a stream. At the moment, it's a stream. But I am going to be streaming my next PC build. So an opportunity has arisen for me to stream myself getting a brand new computer, which is gonna be absolutely insane for streaming and videos, specifically streaming. It's gonna make streams way better quality and way easier for me. Like the specs of this thing are insane and a certain sponsor has put this thing together. So they've given me the parts. I'm going to a another YouTuber's like studio. Um, he's a PC YouTuber and we are gonna build my new PC um, on stream. And that should be happening on Tuesday. He's going to be definitely streaming it on his channel. We're going to try and see if I can get the stream on my channel. Not quite the 49, but close enough. <laughs> um, but if it won't be a... Uh, if it won't be... Oh, da damn it. I was too slow to react. If it isn't a stream on this channel, I will have a video recapping like all the best parts like, i'll just trim down the stream i guess um uh, you might be right everything ps5 pro <laughs> Matt, close close um so yeah uh that should be a lot of fun so i am doing that that should be on tuesday it'll be a bit earlier than the same time tonight honestly i don't have a exact time when it's gonna happen i will tweet it out but the best and like if you're in my discord then you also be notified when it happens but um just be ready for sort of to watch something but yeah that should that's that that's happening on tuesday at this moment in time so Look out for that. I I think my plan is obviously it's gonna take me a while to set, like get all my setup and whatnot um like all sorted back uh, when I get the PC uh, uh, my setup. So I don't know how many videos I'm gonna be able to get out afterwards, but I think we should do like a a stream testing like the limits of the new hardware. At the weekend like you know battlefront at even better quality and stuff like that we'll see we'll see oh oh damn it i thought i could get you ak carry i don't if only i had an ak display <laughs> what are you doing with your old one coming to me <laughs> I actually don't know what I'm going to do with it <laughs> because I really do like this PC. Um, I might have it like as a media center. I don't know. It's too good for that. Like it's, it's a PC that's capable of streaming, you know, Battlefront 2 like this. Right. So yeah, I've got to figure out space and stuff, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no. Ah, oh, damn it. I can't believe I missed all this. Are you on Germany ping? Yes. Um, I am doing that because it seems like that's what most people gravitate to in Europe. If so, not 38 TTI. Uh, it should be a 3080 Super, I believe. Um, but yeah, when it's live, uh, I'd really appreciate you guys check out the sponsor and everything when... Uh, when we are live um so yeah i'm really excited for the bit react star wars game i wonder what it will be about yeah good question um it's something i have thought about honestly to be honest quite a bit because for me personally if they want like they've been talking about how they want the game to be like accessible to a lot of people right and 
they want to open up strategy games to a lot of people. Like, a safe bet for them would be, like, a... Wait, hold on, someone was there. Would be, say, like, a Mandalorian era game? Because there is a market for a Mandalorian show game, right? There isn't one. It's weird that there hasn't been one yet. Personally, I could see them, say, setting it in, like, the Mandalorian time frame. So you could use Din, Grogu, that sort of stuff in the game. I don't know how it will, would work, though, given it's a strategy game, but... Oh, damn it. Or it's like, at the same time, I also got the feeling maybe they, go, they are going to do all eras. So you get the prequel stuff, you get the sequel stuff, and you get the original trilogy stuff. Um, uh, and, and um, like, the, the Disney Plus stuff, right? I could totally see them doing that. I just don't know if they are going to have the resources to do, like, that. Like, with Battlefront, I mean, it's a little bit easier compared to, say, from Battlefront with three eras because of uh, the pure day trove weird strategy game but still but still if Star Wars Outlaws had a big open world why wouldn't you make a character creation system well think of, about open world games how much gay open world games have a character creator including the best ones like Red Dead Redemption 2 there isn't one so it doesn't really matter if you're telling a meaningful story in like that's canon then obviously it's going to be better to have a set character. So. I'm tired. I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> Doesn't help with these lights on. Unfortunately, I was going to try and stream earlier, but yeah. It's not very light outside. Got an early start tomorrow morning. F1's on. Same again Saturday, Sunday. When is spot coming? In a bit, in a bit. <laughs> okay. Let's go in with the droidica. Tried sniping at close range, but let's change up. Cyberpunk, yeah. I mean, Cyberpunk is good. No, it's one of my favorite games of all time, but not every open world game needs to have a character created. Like I said, Red Dead, Red, Red Dead Redemption 2 is a perfect example of that. Like, I don't know what it is, but people get open world game and RPG mixed up. Do you have any tutorials on pirating Adobe Premiere Pro? I don't. I pay for mine. Funnily enough, I just uh, renewed my uh, subscription for another year today. But there are definitely easy tutorials out there. I'm sure. I personally pay, but that's because I like the cloud features they have on offer and the updates and stuff. I've been paying for like five years, but you can definitely easily pirate Adobe stuff. I mean, I remember it used to be easy. Not because I did it, but because friends did. So. But no, I, I actually do pay. I have to. I'm a, I'm a self-employed business owner. Can't be stealing. Damn it. Damn it. No. Uh, can't be a hero because they're all taken. Down to 12, that's not good. Get in. Oh, I activated the rocket and it killed me. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna have to go rocket trooper. Come on, come on. Get in. Oh shoot, I'm gonna die. I'm so weak. We're in. No! Ah, they're doing a good job at holding us, to be honest. Yeah, we've lost. Was it a great game for me, to be honest? But it's not. Halfway through the first phase, I think, but. Get in! Come on. Hold it. Just be a nuisance. 
We got this, we got this, we got this. Oh, sh Uh-oh. Come on. Oh, no, no. No, why did my rocket not activate? I pressed the button. <sighs> I can try Hero Showdown, it's just not a mode I enjoy, to be honest. I much prefer HPB. Okay, let's go in. We, we could actually do this. We might actually surprise ourselves. Come on. I actually found a bunch of, um, like, pre-release Battlefront 2 gameplay today. I hadn't seen before. It was, like, of animation tests and, well, some stuff pre-launch. A couple of bits post-launch, like General Grievous animation tests and things like that. On a bunch of portfolios from the artists, which is pretty cool, to be honest. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, here the balls come. The balls are here. I need a rocket. Need oh, wait. Come on! We're actually holding them. We're holding it. We're holding it. We're doing it. We're really doing it. We did it. Wow, what a comeback. It was so close. So close. Okay, we'll do one hero showdown after this. That was pretty good. I don't think I've played hero showdown in like... Maybe two years. It's literally just... HVV if I'm playing a hero mode. Alright, let's go and try and get a hero showdown mode, I suppose. Alright. Hmm. Okay, we're on Scarif. Okay. See, I just don't like the 1v1 stuffness of this. What, what people want to do 1v1. I just, I'm just, i just going after two of you. I'm not... It's a 2v2 game, but not one versus one, you know? You got parts. You mean crafting parts? Yeah. I'm saving them forever. I think Yoda's going to win this one. Yeah, Yoda's got this in the bag, I think. Actually, no, Grievous is... Uh, Grievous. Dooku has got his health up. Oh, he's just... No, he's, he's just lost it there. Lost some there. Actually, time to attack Yoda. Oh, he's got Yoda on the ropes a bit. Yoda's coming back though. Hmm. Yeah, this I this may go down to time. 
I think. Suppose I would just lose on purpose. I, I ain't got time to be messed about here. But Yoda might have it. No, no, he's backing away. T Tioma Star Track. Not quite Star Trek, but close enough. Okay. Less than two minutes to go. Oh, we got... Oh, why is my... Oh, I guess I haven't selected a hero yet, but... we So we got a level 19 Duke and a level 15 Yoda. Come on, end the round already. I want to get playing. And that's the lowest he's had health wise. Uh oh. Did it right. Uh, let's with Scarif, so. Uh, actually, I might go Grievous because he's no leveled up. I want to just level him up to level 70, so. Let's be real, we never needed a Battlefront 3. We already have two remakes. I mean. We do need one because. No one cares about the old ones, really. People are only gonna. But spend money on a, a new game, so. Alright, let's have you both, Yoda and Luke. Thank you very much. Oh, that's Yoda defeated. Easy. Oh, come on, Mole. Do something, Mole. <laughs> oh, he got me. So weak, though. Just go out. Why is Mole not gone, Mole? Like, why didn't he help me out? It's so stupid. The only way it could work if they released the completely finished. No, they're not going to. They won't. It's it's long gone. It's like when people say 1313 is going to come back. No, it's not. It's so long ago now, you know? Like, games, especially unfinished games, you can't really preserve that sort of stuff. So, I mean, EA don't own the Battlefront name, so anyone can do Battlefront now, as long as they pay for it. But why is this taking so long? Like, he's got almost full health. And Luke hasn't. I did all that damage on Luke.
Come on, how long does this take? Honestly, you know what? I'm gonna leave. I can't be bothered with this anymore. So stupid. I hate this game mode. Alright, let's find a non co op game. Okay, non Starfire Assault. Okay. See if we can actually get Heroes vs. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, there we go. Let's change. Oh, I was going to change my skin to the scavenger outfit. Oh, wait, never mind. Don't worry, we're on the. We're on the right map anyway. It's. Yeah. Here we go. Hello. Damn it. Ah, I fell off. Uh, they actually were making a battle royale mode for Battlefront, but it didn't release. This was like early 2018, they said, but <laughs> Previous died. Hello, Flo. How's it going? Kylo's down. Okay, we've got BB9 either. Damn it. Oh, damn it. Maul's gonna get me. No. I escaped. I escaped. I escaped. Damn it. Still alive somehow. Oh, come on, everyone, help me out. Ah. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Heard rumors that tech is still alive. Can you confirm? I mean, it's just a theory. There's no rumors. It's just what people want to happen. I hope he isn't, because it kind of will ruin last season a bit, but... Oh my god, why did... Oh, now I'm... Ooh, I got stuck in that corner like what you know I'm gonna go later and just shoot them in the face oh god's sake I thought I'd survive longer than that. Ah, oh, he's so weak! 82 health! Where is that? The Empire captured him and turned tech into phase up. zero dart trooper. One of those assassins. Yeah, I mean, I think the more common theory I've seen is tech is the assassin 
Uh, maybe it is, but kind of, do I don't know. I guess it depends on the execution. If that's going to happen or not. Damn it. Shit. No, he's going to get me. Yeah. Ah, that was a good battle, to be fair. That's a good BB9E player, honestly. Just playing for fun. Oops. Can I survive? No, just over the edge. Hello, Brandon. Yeah, we're going to lose this, but I am playing at a disadvantage, but I don't care. I didn't even get them over the wall. Oh my God, what is wrong with me? Oh no. Oh, I wanted to kill Kylo. I'm doing good, Brandon, just a bit tired, busy and stuff, but not bad. Alright. That'll be it, I think, for the Battlefront segment. Alright guys, so we are now going to do the sponsored segment of the stream. Um, like I said, it's been a slower month, so... One second, let me change scene. Where's this? Where's my scene button gone? Wait. There we go. Okay. So, we're going to close that, and... Is Battlefront going to close? There we go. Okay. So let me do this game. So basically, uh, wait, where is it? Why is it not? Needs to load in. Here we go. It's loading. I don't know how loud it's going to be. A bit loud for me personally so if we now go to where's my source game capture okay should work there we go so this is so this is star trek fleet command and they are sponsoring today's stream um do you think General Grievous will return as NK Necrosis in Bad Batch? Honestly, I don't even know who what that is, to be honest. Hope they'll focus more on sequels. Yeah, I agree. All right, so. This is a game that you can check out using the QR code on the screen right now or the link in the description below. Um, so, you know, I'm sure a bunch of you know what Star Trek is. It's got... 
a lot of lore, you know, it's older than Star Wars, it's like 50 years, more than 50 years old at this point, isn't it? So, this is the home base. It reminds me of Halo Wars a lot, this bit. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I like that how, so what happens is, it's pretty cool that the in-game message board is an actual thing in the game, if you know what I mean. Like, it's not like a, it's not like in the menu here. It's like, oh, you tap on it in the game world. So... So, and this is where you get your, like all the news updates and stuff. So we're gonna go back to our home ship. So this is my ship at the moment. But let's go to do some battles. Actually, one sec. So this is my player profile. You can like join clans and stuff. So let's go. Okay. So let's just attack this. Let's just go after this ship. Let's go for it. So as you can see, you can like basically find ships to, to do battle with, basically. Boom, ship down. But then there will be others that require like more input, which we'll get to. Let's go after this one here. It's getting closer. Here we go. Here we go. And the fighting. And there's like obviously all these worlds and stuff. Okay, another one done. Cool. All right, let's go here. Let's move. Look at this star. It's very bright. What's really good though is this game isn't just like on mobile. I'm playing on PC right now. So it has cross platform, which is a must, honestly, in my opinion. And obviously you've got like all the characters from like Star Trek, like, you know, there. that'll be talking through this like thing. So. Yeah, it's got cross-platform, which is obviously fantastic. Because I know, like, a lot of my audience does play on PC. So, you can play on PC, which is awesome. Alright. Let's go through. This section. Here we go. So we can scan it. So it tells you, like, the stats and stuff of each ship if you... Scan it basically, but we are going to attack it. We are in battle. And we won. Let's go. Sub Commander Senolus. Bounty Hunter. Uh oh. Let's go. Oh, there we go. This one's going to take a little while to get over there. So this is me, We're traveling across the galaxy right now. Give us the backstory of Star Trek. Well, you have this guy called Spock. And if you use my code, which is uh, warp speed, you get a Commander Kirk. So there's a link in the description. And basically, if you use that link to sign up and the code warp speed, you get a Commander Kirk, basically. So. Oh, you underestimated us. Ha ha ha. Mission complete, right? What's next? Okay. Anything I can claim? Got a day two welcome gift. Okay, cool. Claiming. William Shack. <laughs> yeah, he actually went to space. We should get Mark Hamill in space next time. <laughs> All right. So, grade past steel warehouse to level two. Well, I've already done that, apparently. So, I've already done that as well. Look out for the renegade bounty hunter. Okay. Let's go over there. Let's go over there. Um. Uh oh. No, let's just attack it. These are pretty easy at the moment, aren't they? Oh, 
Wait, I lost? What? Uh-oh, that's not good. Well, we're... Okay, it's allowed... Because it was our first ship destruction they've given us um, a free one. So we need to upgrade ours, our ship. So, yeah, we're not going to be able to do that. Okay. Collect these items. All right, let's go to the ship. We need to upgrade it. This is my ship. Whereabouts is it? Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's go. We're going to upgrade the warehouse. Okay, can't add a new building, I don't think, yet, unfortunately. Upgrade. Yeah, we can do a 3-1. There we go. Have you seen the Fallout show? I actually haven't. To be honest, I'm not a big Fallout guy. I've barely... I've probably only played, like, an hour of, like, each Fallout game. But the show does look good. So, I might check it out, maybe. Have you watched it? Oh, wait, uh, I mean, we could... Go, apparently, we've got more strength, so we should be able to go for it. If we die again, that's not going to be very good, is it? Take it out. Yes, we did it. Okay, we did do it this time. Okay. So yeah, we need to repair the ship. I think. Okay. Let's upgrade the warehouse. See, I didn't realize doing all those fights did damage. I, I was repairing, so that was not good on my... But let me instant repair. There we go, level four of operations. Okay. We are set. Boom. Another on, uh, level up. Okay. So, let's take a look at the officers. So, these are like all the main characters basically so these are all the officers you can get to have as officers on your ship basically so you know you've got picard you've got spock data it's all of these characters honestly like the character models are not too bad at all all right let's go back so Let's do this mission, I guess. Let's go here. Head on over here. I have come to assist you. I have a badly ruined crew. My ship is tearing itself apart. Oh, that's not good. Who do we do? Honestly, I'm going to re recruit Beverly to... I'd rather save people. So, that's... That is the right thing to do, not fix the ship. It's about saving the wounded. Yeah, I'm collecting that. Okay, so we got a, a new leader. Hello, CXL Division. You can enhance a ship's offense and defensive capabilities by assigning an, off assigning an officer. Okay, exactly. So we need to recall ship home to assign an officer. We also need to obviously repair it. So there we go. This is a Star Trek sponsored stream. Yes, we played some Battlefront earlier, but so let's uh, let's go back. Oh yeah, so, so we are damaged. So we need to go to the station. Um, wait, 
There we go. Oh, so you got bot mods you can play stuff. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, this is my ship. Well, th so these are the other ships you can buy. Like, or unlock or whatever. There is quite... Like, I mean, look at that. Nearly a million strength for the Enterprise. <laughs> I bet that's crazy. So I only have one ship at the moment, though. So, you know, it happens. So, yeah, this is my... This is the home station. All right, let's... Re okay, so this is my ship. I don't know if I really showed it, but this is my ship. So we are now going to repair it. And... I think we can add a... Okay, modify your offices in the station dry dock when it's fully repaired. Okay. So yeah, basically this is uh, like a MMO sort of thing. So like you have like this is like obviously that you're thinking you can like join different alliances and stuff so there's obviously all these players like different like kind of like guilds and stuff aren't they like you can create your own or you can just join a bunch of others basically so all right the ship should be repaired 10 sec or oh, 10 seconds to go but yeah you like you've got some base building going on it's not just the ships like i thought oh ships make sense but no you're actually doing some base building as well obviously to get resource and stuff okay so now we can assign officers so we are gonna confirm that cool you can also like obviously recruit once and stuff but there we go we're much we're a bit better now shall we upgrade it let's see what we can upgrade so we've got a shield okay that's always good to have warp engines let's do that let's just max it out why not now we're looking even better and we've got we can go for a second tier as well so oh no we just did okay do you see the transformers one track yes i did i had a lot um i had a, a lot of fun um it seems fun it seems fun i, I think the animation is fantastic okay as you recruit more officers remember to assign them okay cool so we've got two so far all right Reach level 9 to unlock hailing frequencies, emotes that can be shown. Okay, got it. Okay, let's level up. Shall we just max it out? I've got loads of this currency. Boom. So, our leader, our officer is going to be much better now sorted cool I think we're ready to go out oh uh oh we're being attacked all right it's time to go 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 oh he tried fleeing for a moment Fire. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I think we should... Re should we repair ourselves? Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. Who needs repairs? Let's just go after the ship. Straight away. Let's go for it. Come on. We can do this. Yeah, see? Don't even need repairs. <laughs> yeah, we've got to go back and... Actually, uh, like our health is not bad. Our health's not bad. So let's bring the ship... Uh, look. There we go. Bring the ship back. There's a lot of enemies in this area. But then you've got a bunch of planets that like don't have any around it, but they're all in this sort of area. Bring them home. Uh, the graphics are pretty good for a mobile game. Tune up. Okay, cool. What's up with the Star Wars Outlaws price? I mean, it, the standard $70 is 
the same price. The gold edition with the season pass is... I don't, I don't understand, like, you get the season pass in the gold edition. So, like, to me, like, why get the ultimate just for some cosmetics, like, and the art book? You know, I think that is overpriced. They needed to been they ne needed to have been something like far more substantial than just a bunch of cosmetics, or just a lot more cosmetics. You know, I wouldn't say the cosmetics are even that good to be honest. Like, they're fine, like they're cool, but like they're not gonna like move the needle much. You know, but the base price is fine. F fair enough. That's cool, Dan. All right. Okay, we've got to save the defenseless sci fi uh, science ship. Okay, we're going to attack it. Yes, yeah, Star Trek's had a bit of like a resurgence recently. Like, there's been... um, It's New Worlds, isn't it? The new show. Well, the on currently ongoing show. I think there's like something else as well. And they seem to be doing pretty good, honestly. Yeah, it's cool. Because I know, obviously, it's sort of... I don't know. At least in my point of view. It dropped out, like, of favour, but it seems like the recent stuff has been doing pretty well, so... It's good for quite an old franchise. Star Wars art books are always expensive. Yeah. They do go on sale, though, luckily. Pretty quick. Recruit an officer. We're gonna recruit another officer, okay. Who should we go? Can we just get any, or what? Shall we get Spock? I don't have enough for him. Seems like we'll just have to get get one at random. Okay, what's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Krell. Okay, he's got a cool looking helmet, I guess. Mara. Okay. Honestly, I hate the sequels, and you like them, and there shouldn't be anything wrong. Exactly. It's silly, isn't it? It's so silly. I, I, similar, like, thankfully, Maroons, there's been a few people like you in regards to Outlaws and stuff. Oh, we got Kirk. There we go. Okay. So we've got all of those. And then we can go to... If we go on the ship. If we recall it. Yeah, so we've got a bunch of officers now. And enter station. Okay. Analyze the device we received from Captain Marcona. It's unknown, but ancient origin. Okay. Are we going to build a new ship? That's cool. So are you playing a mobile game? Yes. So this game is actually cross-play, which... Because I was like... Oh, how um, this is going to be interesting. How, how am I going to be able to stream a mobile game? Because I haven't done that before. But there is a dedicated PC client. So you literally just... It's not even like a big install either. It's like one gig. It's like so small. Because it's a mobile game effectively. But as you can see, like this is a PC version. This is a full, like I'm using my mouse and keyboard. Like this is a fully fledged um, PC version. So yeah. And it's cross platforms like... Whatever you do on the mobile version syncs up with the PC and vice versa, so you can obviously play it, like, you know, at your house or on the go, whatever. And obviously it's free, so. But yeah, this month they've got a bunch of um, events going on in relation to the game, hence why, the, you know, they're sponsoring the stream, so... Basically, there's going to be, like, some, like, it says 20 new core Strange New World theme missions. So, yeah, that's, like, the new thing, isn't it? So, there's go let's attack them. So, there's going to be, like, see, this is what annoys me about Star, like, in other games, right? Like, there's no tie-ins, whereas this has got all the tie-ins. It's got the current tie-ins, you know? Uh, now I'm going to bring him to the brig. Let's go. Well, actually, we need to report. Um, we need to report. We need to repair. Yeah, yes, Dan. That's correct. You're going to stream the May 4th event on ba uh, Battlefront 2. Um, 
I would, but it probably isn't going to happen. The reason being, it only happened. So it turns out it never was actually set up automatically. It's all manual. Um, it's up to the developers to do it. And it's one second. It's May 4th on the weekend. It is. It's not going to happen. No, no one's in the office. So, yeah, there's not many people left there that's going to be doing it, unfortunately. So we need to, we do need to repair our ship, don't we? Um, so, need to recall. Need to go back and repair. So, yeah, this is my station. And this is what it looks like from the outside. Okay, right, there we go. Yeah, we're... Damn, we are badly damaged. We're badly damaged. Okay, that's not good. All right, let's repair and gotta wait till we fully rep wait on arch. Okay, there we go. All right, let's get a new. Where's our recruit gone? Where do we do it? I can't remember. I feel like I selected them, but maybe I don't. Okay. Let's just open this anyway, this chest. Did the raid work? Um, You mean the uh, YouTube thing? One second. Let me, because I didn't get the notification. Usually it does come through. Um. Oh yeah, it did. Thank you very much, Nooch. I appreciate that. That was my first ever raid. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that, man. Obviously, uh, I, I don't know if you play this game, but I know you're the one of the mobile experts, aren't you? Uh, wait, we just got a bunch of viewers. I appreciate it. No worries. Thanks very much. It means a lot. So let me figure out how do we... Okay. Okay, we're right. We're fully repaired. All right, I tried this game. Didn't want to get into the game style though. Um, played a couple of games like years ago. That's cool. At least you know about it. Oh, whoa, whoa, this is way bigger than I thought. Whoa, this is. I didn't realize the map was this big. Look how big the map is. That's crazy. Just keeps going. Whoa, there's even this section up here like this. This is way bigger than I thought. I've seen some strange fairies. Yeah, I I think I think it, it that's well it's, it's not strange. I, I guess it is kind of strange, but I think that's what a lot of people are saying. Okay, right, we have got to travel to the Federation outpost. Is wait, let me just double check. Travel to the Federation outpost. Okay, where is that Federation outpost? Oh, I've got to zoom in. Oh, I just I just zoomed far. I just zoomed out far too much, basically. <laughs> I didn't realize, I thought, oh, the pla this is just like the map. No, it, there's like all this. It's way bigger than I, I thought. So, wow, okay. So this is just one system, basically. Got it, okay. There we go. Now we can go. Let's go. Yeah, so this month they've got like Star Trek Strange New World stuff and loads of like loads of new content, new officers, things like that. Do you think they'll actually end Babash after the season? It, yeah, it, it is. Um, tell the outpost that you're going to be you're spying on the King Klingons. Lie about your intentions. I kind of want to be bad. <laughs> Let's do that. Uh, accept mission. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, we chart. Okay. Too late to cancel the course. Uh oh. Oh, oh, we're jumping. We're jumping. Wait a second. There we go, here we come. We're on our way. 
Do, 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 do. Going back to the home. We're fully repaired, aren't we? There we go. Yeah, he was going to destroy me. Just for uh, having a ship and being in this place. Uh, yeah, the classic collection's broken. Well, it's not broken as much anymore, but still. That's besides the point, isn't it? Where is patch two? Where is patch two? I don't know. Do we have enough for an upgrade? <coughs> Let's do a laser upgrade. Okay. I've got to... I don't, I don't know if I'm going to have enough to... Wait. I think I'll have enough, actually. Yeah, I will. Perfect. So we can upgrade it. Tear up. Let's go. Ship upgraded. The realtor. All right. Now we are set. But yeah, if you want to uh, check out the game, there's a link in the chat or in the description. And basically, um, there is a code called warp speed. You just type that in. I'll show you how to do it actually. And that will give you like bonus stuff. So, one second. <coughs> Excuse me. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. Let's, let's attack. Let's go for it. I'm flying from quite some distance. Do, do, do. It's pretty funny that the, these guys just like, let me slip by. Thank you very much. Intercepting. Fire. Boom. That new laser is at work. And destroyed. Easy, 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 easy. Got to defeat three. Three hostiles. Hmm. There we go. Attack. Oven Outlaws, what do you think will be the next big release? You mean like uh, Star Wars games or like G games in general? But games in general, there's a couple before Outlaws, but the game is set in the Kelvin timeline, which was introduced with... Yeah, I saw... Um, what made me think that is um, I saw uh, Kirk's character model is... Um, what's his name? I forgot his name. He, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I forgot the actor's name. And then I also saw the, uh, Simon Pegg as well. Star Wars games. Uh, I, if I had to guess, it's probably going to be a KOTOR remake, if I'm honest. And then but the bit reactor game, and then Jedi. Maybe, actually, but yeah, Jedi's still going to be like two years away, two and a half years away. But I think KOTOR might actually come out next, you know, surprisingly. Uh, Dan Infinity, thank you very much for subscribing. All right, guys, so... I'm going to quickly show you something. One second. Do, 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 do. So, let me get the... Okay, so, basically, if you click the link in the description below, it says, like, STFC gift. It'll bring you to this webpage, right? And, basically, um, it'll tell you, you... Scan the QR code that's on the screen right now. Like, it's like... Uh, up in the top right hand corner um and then once you've got your game you need to go to the website and then hit on uh, click on store once you've like signed in and stuff and then uh there'll be a redeem code section so you let me just uh one second turn this off so i can sign in with my account got my password in uh this game is star trek fleet command and you can uh, check it out using the QR code. There. Uh, let me just... I've got to sign in with my account. I'm just typing in my password. One moment. Hello, Cosmonaut. I don't know why it's... Okay. 
One second. I think I typed my password incorrectly. <laughs> okay. Let me sign in. Trying to sign in. Whilst we're at it, I will attack this ship. Have you ever played Swotor? I actually damn like when it I'm pretty sure I did actually um play it like when it first came free to play and then I just never played it. Like after. It's been a long time. But I should probably get back I want I, I said I was going to get back into it, I never did. I, I, I should do. Okay, so basically when you um when you have checked out uh, download the game stuff you made your account you need to go to here uh, this the link that I've I've sent basically and type in the code warp speed and you will get like a bonus pack basically um, it's gonna give you a bunch of stuff so you get this uh, you get 10 epic shards and a captain Kirk and stuff so it's very simple it's very simple you just have to wait. We actually we should be okay. I think we could go for another attack. I think we don't need to repair. It, I don't think. Yeah. So this is the the film timeline. Or whatever. Attack the Orion. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's attack it. Actually, we need to. I think I. I think we. It's probably best if we repair, though, I think. Recall. I played Swotor for five minutes, logged off, forgot to play again. I feel like that's probably what I did, you know, back in, like, 2015 or whatever. I honestly can't remember. Chris Pine, that's it. I don't know why I want to say um, Matt for some reason. I don't know why. I guess he kind of looks a bit like Matt Damon, doesn't he? I know it's not Matt Damon, but you know what I mean. Chris Pine, that's it. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Yeah. Once I saw his face, I was like, oh, they're using his likeness, so it must be, like, for the films and stuff. That makes sense. Yeah. All right, let's go uh, and f fix our ship. All right, we are ready to go again. So, yeah. Definitely go check out the game. Help support the stream. Is it, is it, I don't know why I can't angle correctly there we go there's a qr code there's also a link in the chat in, in the stream and stuff like that download it check it out for a bit destroy the orion saboteur okay that's a much more powerful ship let's scan it okay no but well a more powerful ship than what we're used to but we have we do have a better ship so we should be fine i think target's not on the same system so i've got to go Got to fly here, I guess. Oh, let's make travel into a different star system. We're warping. <laughs> the game size just kept getting bigger. Ah, oh, see, that's just, I didn't realize that would be like such a thing on mobile. But like, yeah, you think about it. You know, same thing I guess happens just like PC and console. <laughs> I remember when Battlefront Two, one of the updates added like I want to say it was like five gig. And like people were complaining about that, you know. And the amount of content in that game. But yeah, this is a light install, a nice light install. It's only like one gig, I think, and at least on PC, which is pretty good. Alright, let's go do it. Let's destroy this ship. It's a much bigger ship than ours. Oh, taking some damage. Don't worry. We got this. Yeah. There we go. We did it. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, who's this guy? Torin. He's a bit blue. Alright, let's head on over here. We're in a completely different system we've not been in before. Hmm. Let's defeat him. I like being. Oh, that's a cool ship. I like that looking ship. That's pretty cool. Always. Oh, this is quite a powerful ship. I don't know if we're going to survive this. 
<sighs> Me too, Maroon. Me too. It's actually six years ago today that uh, um, another night... Wait. A night on Endor. Okay, well, not another night, because that was... Uh, the second update for Halloween. See, so it was a year... So it was six years ago today, I live-streamed Ewok Hunt as soon as it went live, and I had a bunch of the dice developers in my chat like that worked on the game mode it was so fun it was so good we it, i think it was my first battlefront stream that hit over 100 viewers we had like i want to say like 150 or 200 uh, at one point it was a lot of fun battlefront is dead uh because game companies like destroy i mean it's not dead uh heard somewhere that tt games might not make another lego game um I mean, they are working on a new Lego game, but the WB are weird, yeah. As you upgrade your base, you'll get more circular platforms. Okay, yeah, they are. I do like the the architecture; it's pretty cool. Do 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 do. All right. Okay. Actually, you know what? I think we need to go home. I think we need to go home and. Go back. We need to repair. We need to repair the ship, don't we? Yeah, it's. Let's go back. Let's go back. We need to go back to home. I think. Pair it up. Now an own door still gives me nightmares. <laughs> Ever played at night with all the lights off? Yeah, I. I We've done a few. I've done a few streams. I mean, I might have had the light. I probably didn't have the lights on. Yeah, I might have done because I'm pretty sure I have webcam on. So, but yeah, that was. Uh, we've had some really fun streams. All right, let's take a look. What's going on? Just checking something on the live stream. One sec. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we are injured. But don't worry, the ship has made it back. All right. So, can, what can we do? I feel like we need an upgrade. We need an upgrade, I think. Anything to claim here? I can redeem the new player gift thing, but I think. See, I've already entered. The... I've already used the warp speed code just to. I was just testing it out yesterday to make sure everything is good. What do we got? What's available to us? Let's take a look. I want to build my base. Do, 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 do. Yeah, exactly. Like, it, it's crazy how much it's, um, it's still going. So, okay, so we're going to get the second builder permanent unlock. So, this will give us an extra builder token and multi phasic credits. 530. Okay, that's a lot. And this should give us a much improved base. I like base building. It's a lot of fun. In like any game, basically. Let's go, go, go. Uh. <laughs> there we go. I get you. I I I have been tending to be playing single player games recently. Um, 
I mean, this one, at least with this, you can just play single play if you want. Okay, so. Let's do it. Let's build this. Level 1, research and development. Let's just go for a, another one, level 2. Cool. Saved. Here we go. Let's instant that. So this is a skill tree. Got it. Okay, I haven't seen this. Oh, so this is a look at all the different shits. Wow, these are some cool skins. I like that one. It reminds me of... Um, yeah, it's, like a, it's like a pancake or something. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? It's a cube. A big cube. Whoa, that's... That's pretty funny how it's like... Got loads of holes in it. What's that? I've not seen that one before. Yeah, I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna be making a lot of content about it. I think. I don't know. I I, I feel a bit more energized, re-energized to uh, make content on it. So. I, I honestly, I like. This this is crazy. This is crazy. Some crazy looking ships. Oh, so you can buy like different projectiles. Ship cloaking. Okay. And abilities. Interesting. Okay. Let's go here and level this academy up. Okay. So we've got recruit tokens, all kinds of stuff. So we're going to upgrade that. Okay. Warehouse full. We need to upgrade that. Start the research. Ooh. Okay. Way teams. Galaxy. So you can do all kinds of stuff. Okay. Oh, and obviously you get boosts and stuff, so you can like speed things up, but we'll save those for next time. All right, so you can promote officers. Okay, I get it, I get it. Uh, this game is called Star Trek Fleet Command, um, but if you want a direct link, you can straight up just use the QR code, which is up in the uh, top right, or use the link in the chat, or in the description. But yeah, it's Star Trek Fleet Command. And make sure you use the code warp speed, and you'll get like, because you're a new player, you'll get a bunch of stuff and uh, you'll help support the channel. So, if, I th basically, if you play a bit, you can uh, help out the channel, um, and maybe we can do this again an another time. Like, maybe I'll start my own uh, alliance. That's like the clan feature, so as you can see, like, so you have like, obviously the different factions and stuff, but you have, so you've got all these, but then you've got, the um, alliance, so you can pick and like you can create your own or join others basically. Where is it? Let me just find something quick. So, yeah, all you need to do is just uh, download the game if you uh, want to check it out. And uh, if you get to level 10, try and get to level 10. You can uh, help the stream that way. All right. So let's build this Orion Corvette. Where is it? Details. Okay, so we need... Okay, let's... Need to level up the Parasteel level 4, okay. Upgrade complete. Got it. Oh, 
Upgrade. Start the research. There we go. So we can do the Orion Corvette now, I think. I'm pretty sure. Let's see, wait, where is it? What do we need? Oh, we need a level 5 shipyard, okay. So we're going to have to <laughs> build quite a bit to get that up, unfortunately. But we can get that. What's the... What other missions can we do in the meantime? Um, yeah, let's defeat these. Uh, I really like Transformers. Um, Avatar. Uh, Indiana Jones. Um, trying to think. They're probably my main franchise and series I'm in two, I would say. Well, I mean, they're like, I was thinking just like films, but like uh, games, Halo specifically, uh, anything from Rockstar, Cyberpunk. Um, there we go. Easy. Yeah, I would say those are the main ones. Um, actually, I would honestly, I, I haven't said this because like it hasn't been a game in so long. I mean, I'm an Apex, but the Titanfall like franchise as a whole, you know, I just love the whole thing, like the everything about it. And it just sucks we haven't got more, you know. There we go, another takedown from me. Okay. So next, we're going to do one more ship. There we go. Uh, yes, that's right, Maroon. We own, I believe it's the biggest GTA Twitter account. It might be the second biggest, I can't remember. But we're the most active, basically. Um, it's me. If, if you see a tweet, it's usually me. Um... And I also run the website as well, so you can you will see like most of the articles are from me as well. So in between YouTube, like you know, we're in this quiet period uh, at the moment. That's sort of my other job, basically. So yeah, um, it's I had to like I I have never run a website before, and then when I took over the website, I think it was two or three years ago. I just had to learn on the fly. Like, I had to rebuild the website and stuff. Like, I've learned so much. Like, I wish we had a strategy Star Wars game on mobile. Yeah, do you... There was a... Uh, did you see the one called Rise to Power? Um, it was in, like, a, an alpha. Um, yeah. Like, this feels like... Yeah. It, it sucks. It's... I, I feel like they should have just gone... Released it, you know? Like, it sucks they cancelled it. I mean, I, apparently this game's been going for years now. But yeah, I really, really hope they they do a, another strategy game. And um, there has been rumblings. So, not necessarily from EA, but you tried Stanley Alpha, didn't work. It, see, I did check it out. Um, I got in when it came out. Um, I didn't play much of it, though, because, like, again, it wasn't really my cup of tea, like... Playing on my my phone wasn't like great at the time, I don't think, or whatever. But um, I also like there was like only just like bots and stuff. I don't know. It's, it was it, that's the problem with like Star Wars Hunters, but at least with us playing against real players because it's all out. So uh, claim. Oh the, wait, there we go. See, so it's uh, it's Simon Pegg. It's the guy that uh, plays on car plot. That's what I know him as. <laughs> He stole it from Duquesne, who stole it from Han Solo. Have we, have we got enough yet? Yeah. Oh, still want to get a level 5 shipyard. Still need level 5 operations. So, got to wait a little bit to do that. Alright, locate. Do, 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 do. Hmm. J 
just this phone call. <laughs> Can you imagine? Right, we need to... Let's repair our ship, actually. Let's repair our ship. Let me recall it back. Need to recall it back here. You doing get anything on May 4th? I'm going to see the Acolytes. I'm going to see the, uh, to see the Acolyte. What? I'm going to see the Phantom Menace so I can see the Acolyte preview. That's what I'm going to be doing on May 4th. I will stream Battlefront 2 here as well, depending if Unlimited Power is activated, but it probably won't be. So I probably won't stream unless I'm feel. I don't know. I might, it because I think I'm going to see uh, the Phantom Menace at four o'clock, which means with adverts and stuff, I should be home for about seven-ish. So, I'm going to say if I'm, I, I would, I, I think it would be nice to stream because I don't think I've streamed on May 4th for like until for about three years since Unlimited Power um, last worked on May 4th. I could, maybe it was two years ago. I can't remember, to be honest. Um, but we'll see. Other than that, I will wa go watch Phantom Menace, obviously Acolyte, uh, it, which will, like, the special preview or whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, cause the, all I've been thinking about, all I've been thinking about is the preview. I mean, I was really excited, like, before they even announced it, I was like, I can't wait to go see Phantom Menace in, uh, like, on a big screen, right? The pod race and stuff like that. But then I'm like, you know, I've only been thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Let's sight this guy. <laughs> but yes, have you guys got any plans for the day? Hello Techno Spaghettio. How's it going? Boom, there we go, okay. So let's go for a, another level. We need to find hostile, okay. We need to go to a different. Level two, okay, there's, these, I can't find a word that's, a uh, system that's got three. They're all one, two, four, five. Strange. Shall we just go this one? Let's just go here. Let's just check it out. You saw you in a, me in a Battlefront game. Oh, nice. <laughs> Can't wait to see Tales of the Empire. Oh, and yeah, Tales of the Empire. So yeah, I'm going to be watching that in the morning, I guess. So yeah, uh, we, 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 we've got quite a bit, haven't we? We've got quite a bit going on this May 4th. And then there's the Fortnite stuff, which again, I'm not, I don't care about. But still, it's pretty, I think this May 4th is actually going to be a good one. Because usually it's pretty crap. Let's be real. Let's be real. It's usually crap. But this one's got the Phantom Menace, it's got Tales of the Jedi, it's got the Acolyte preview, it's got the Fortnite stuff. Like last year there was a lot of stuff for the games, but they, um, to be perfectly honest, they didn't, like, it was all older games, you know? Like it wasn't anything like, it wasn't like Battlefront was getting an update or like, I mean, Le Le Lego Star Wars The Skywalker, uh, uh, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, they did do, they gave, gave us a free character didn't they in the form of luke starkiller so all right let's go okay i was right okay so we just it might the the system might have the wrong like one number but there's loads of other levels inside okay there we go and may 4th yeah exactly brandon yeah so there's gonna be a lot going on there's going to be a lot going on in the next, uh, in, in the, you know, that, that week. Wow. Yeah, there's been quite a bit. Right, let's go after this ship. Let's go. Also, I fixed Nightbot, by the way, because I know it was timing people like you out run and stuff, but that is now fixed. I fixed it out. So I, fi I fixed it out. Don't worry. 
Don't worry. So you're gonna... <laughs> I wish I was getting paid thousands of dollars for uh, Star Wars. <laughs> um... Yeah, I, I got called a, um, a Ubisoft, a, a Disney and Ubisoft shill today. Um, for uh, checks notes, criticizing them, but also giving them like a reason why things aren't as bad. Like, like I offered a fair argument, a pretty fair argument. You know, I don't really understand people like. Oh, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. Um, you are, Will you be able to drive all ships? I don't believe so. It doesn't seem... I they haven't confirmed anything yet. I get the feeling that we might have a different option available in the future, but I don't know. It seems like... It, it feels like the Trailblazer is very much like the Mantis in Survivor, but I guess people will be a little bit more disappointed because it's, you know, open world game, I suppose, so they want, you know, but whatever. Yeah, you literally have to like, I mean, it, it's crazy. Like, I'm not, I, I always try to give an argument, like give reasons for and against on both sides. I just don't understand why people can't accept that. Like, you know, people were saying like something ridiculous, like the base game is $140. And it's like, no. It's 70, just like essentially every game. And based on what we've heard, this game is going to have a lot of value, like a lot of content. It's not like it's going to be like $30 worth of content, but for $70, you know, like I, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I really don't get it, to be honest. It's dumb. It's super dumb. All right, let's go and we need to find a need to go to a different system. Galaxy, uh, need to travel to set course. Go here. As soon as we he hear any more outlaws news, I'll make a video, guys. Don't worry. It's just that at the moment we don't ha actually have like anything. Um, anything new? Well, we, we we've had a bunch of stuff, haven't we? It's just been uh. It's gonna. I think it's gonna be a bit quiet now for a couple of. I would say it's. It's good, probably gonna be June tenth when we next hear anything outlaws related. Exactly, Maroon. Exactly. This is why I made the video, because you had all of these stupid like outlets just saying stuff, and it's like, uh, no, read. You know, like, I, 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 I don't, I don't know. I, I felt like I saw far too many people saying Jabber is not in the game until you spend like $140. And you don't even need, like, to get the season pass. The season pass is actually the um, $110 version or the or $90 version, whatever it is. See, again, this is this this is what I complained about, like I said in the video. That's the thing. Um, this, sh this, this, this is just annoying. Um, but yeah, let's head back to our home and repair. It's confusing, but like, th they also weren't as confusing as what people are ma making it out to be. But again, it's annoying, but still, you know, like, it's not, it's ambiguous, but not that ambiguous. Like, Jabba was always going to be in the game. It's just that people, like, some people just ran with it for no reason, you know? It, 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 like, I can't blame anyone that just sees a tweet that says something from a big account they follow that they usually trust. It, 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 it's annoying. It's annoying. Here we go. Ship is arriving. Right, we need to recall the ship. All 
All right, the ship is coming back. All right, okay, we need to repair the ship one last time, I think. There we go, we have to go on that repair. Boom, instant. Cool. There we go, we've got Simon Pegg. Uncar plot. <laughs> He's now an officer. <laughs> there we go. So, so you can just select. Wait, oh, you, oh okay. Got it. All right, well, I am going to end the stream there, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. I do appreciate it. It has been a fun stream. I know it's been a couple of weeks since my last stream. Um, but basically, like I said, at the start of the stream, I should be... I don't think I'll be streaming this weekend, but there will be that PC building stream next week. Should be a stream hopefully and then i'll probably stream like the following weekend um so next weekend but we but we shall uh see um so yeah uh <laughs> just this but yeah let's see this is uh uncar plot is uh here right now <laughs> he's a miracle worker and born engineer but yeah thank you very much for tuning in everyone i do appreciate it, it means a lot uh, remember there is uh, a qr code in the top right corner of the screen Scan that with your phone or use the link down below in the description um, basically to download the game, check it out, and then use the code warp speed to get your free Captain Kirk, basically. So remember to use that and um, get started easier with this uh, Star Trek fleet command. So. Yeah, it was uh that was a lot of fun. I, I do like I I I always like space like combat games where like you command in ships and stuff and you got your own base and things like that. So and obviously it's on PC, it's like flawless on PC. Like it's a lightweight PC game. So pretty much any PC can probably run it. So even if you have like a, a game in PC, you just got a laptop or something, you can probably run this. And obviously it's cross platform, so any game with cross platform is always a plus. Uh to make sure oh, what upgrades can we get? Let's just upgrade the engines. Um, so anyway, thank you very much for tuning in, guys. I do appreciate it. Um, like I said, she'll be back next week with a stream. So I appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you next time.